I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. Every day, same time, we will have a challenge problem for you. Anybody can participate for free. Here is your question for the day. Assume A, B, C and D are positive integers such that a to the power of 5 equals to b to the power of 4, c cube is equal to d square and c minus a equals to 19. Determine value of d minus b. Four options are given to you. 999, 1, 757, and 361. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then I will provide you with the solution also. So I'll give you a few seconds to think about it and then come out with the solution. It is not easy, but a simple hint can help you solve this question very easily. So I hope some of you have got the solution. Shall I give you a hint? Here it is. What is ten square? minus 9 square. Does that help? I think now you get the solution, right? Let's try to see if this helps. Well, 10 square is 100. And 9 square is 81. Their difference is 19. So 10 square minus 9 square is 19. And we can equate that to, yes, you're right. We can equate that to C minus A equals to 19, right? Now we know what C and A are. And from there, you can find the other parameters, B and D, right? C is equal to 100. You can substitute 100 for C and find the value of D. A is 81. Substitute 81 for A and find the value of B. So now you know B and D, you can calculate the difference and find the solution, correct? Take your time to do this algebraic part. So these are the skills which are very much required to work with the exponents, right? So even at this stage, sometimes it could be difficult. Now. Calculating D from C, how will you do it? Well, we know that C is 100, and we have to cube it and then square it, right? So D should be 1,000, right? So you get the value of D as 1,000. How about B? 
you can write 81, you know it is 9 squared. And so for A, if I write 9 squared to the power of 5, I need to find B to the power of 4. So 81 is also 3 to the power of 4. You get the idea. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So what is B to the power of 4 in this case? Perfect. So you got the solution. Now let's look into the solution in greater details. So the question was, we are given the value. Here, A, B, C are positive integers such that A to the power of 5 equals to B to the power of 4. C cube is D squared. C minus A is 19. We need to find the value of D minus B. So the hint given to you was 10 square minus 9 square is 100 minus 81, which is 19. And so we know C equals to 100 and A equals to 81. Now you could write C as also equals to 10 square and A equals to 3 to the power of 4. So working with exponents actually helps to find a quicker solution in this particular case. So we know A is 3 to the power of 4. So we have written first A to the power of 5 equals to B to the power of 4, which is given to us. And since we know what A is, we can find what B is. So substituting 81 for A, we get 81 to the power of 5 equals to B to the power of 4. 81 is 3 to the power of 4, right? And we need to find what b to the power of 4 is. You can swap the powers, right? So to the power comes outside the base. 3 to the power of 5 is what b is, correct? Is a typing error. b is 3 to the power of 5. So we found b equals, equals to 3 to the power of 5, which is calculated as 243. That means 81 times 3. Is that clear to you? So we get the value of B. To find the value of D from C, substitute 100 for C. 100 cube is 1 million. Square root of 1 million is 1000. So we get the value of D as 1000. The difference between D and B is 1000 minus 243, which is 757. So I hope that helps. It gives you an idea of working with the exponents, the power numbers. So there are many interesting facts which you should think about when you work with squares and the cubes, right? Another interesting number is that, you know what is a four cube? That is equal to eight square, right? Both are 64. So create a problem using this fact. So your question for today is next question. We know 4 cube equals to 8 square, which is 64. Now create a question. Perfect. So that will give you an ability to make your own questions, the tough ones, and ask your friends. I hope you enjoy this exercise. Feel free to write comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.